Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Brayer, Zaitsev hybrid variation, 11.NBD2BB712.BC2RE813.NF1BF814.NG3G615.A4C516.D5C4. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. Ba4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. Nf6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. b5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. d6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the d2-d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Nb8 retreats the knight in order to relocate it to d7, black plans to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7 and doesn't want the knight to block it on c6. D4 attacks the E5 pawn, controls the center and opens the diagonal for the dark squared bishop to develop. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the E5 pawn and keeps the A8H1 diagonal open for black's light squared bishop. NBD2 develops the knight toward the center and protects the E4 pawn. Fianchetto move BB7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. BC2 retreats with the bishop to defend the E4 pawn. Re8 moves the rook to a central file and frees the f8 square for black's pieces. Nf1 maneuvers the knight toward the king side and prepares to play either ne3 or ng3 while also opening the diagonal for the dark squared bishop. Bf8 retreats the bishop to defend the king side and unblock the e file. Ng3 activates a knight and overprotects the e4 pawn. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7 where it will sit on the long diagonal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. Games Master. It is the final book action. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. 
This is the way to win a knight. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a knight. It is a great move. That was a great move and very hard to find. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is brilliant. That knight will get material if captured. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. A queen is lost as a result. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This shields the knight who was attacked. It is quite good. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This is the way to win a queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This wins a queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 